Hello everyone. Today we are going to see restriction rules and scoping rules which is part of Salesforce security. Like we all know, Salesforce provides very effective sales security model where we always start with most rest restrictive access and then open up access using additional mechanisms like sharing rule, manual sharing to support specific requirements. But there might be scenarios where we need to restrict access based on specific criteria. Salesforce recently introduced two approaches to support this requirement. Those are restriction rules and scoping rules. Now we can see those in detail. First one is restriction rule. This is the one Salesforce introduced first. And using restriction rules, we can apply an additional level of filter on top of records to which a specific user is having access. Later, we are going to see this in detail with an example. But basically, if the organization by default is private and if you are having some sharing rule to share access with a set of users, then you can apply a filter on those shared records to filter out some of those records and provide only specific record access to that particular user. Scoping rules also somewhat similar, but it is not preventing access to other records, but it's just creating a restricted view for the users and users can still go ahead and see the other records outside of that view. Now let us compare restriction rules and scoping rules. Both features are available only in Lightning experience. Restriction rule is available for custom objects, contracts, tasks and events. Whereas scoping rule is available for custom objects, account, case, contact, event, lead, opportunity and task objects. Both the features are applied on list views, lookups, related lists, reports, search, SOCL and SOSL. But scoping rule, we need to specifically select filter by scope. Then only this will be applied on a particular list view and also queries. But the major difference between both this rule is that when we try to access a record that got removed by filtering, in restriction rule, the user won't be having access to the filter out records. Whereas in scoping rule, the user is still going to have access to those records. Different options to create. Basically, you can create it from setup or you can utilize tooling API or metadata API to create both of these rules. And there are some considerations for while we are creating restriction rules and scoping rules. We can have a maximum of two rules per object in dev and enterprise editions. Whereas we can have five rules per object in professional and unlimited edition. But we can have only one rule per user per object. There are some considerations for deployment also like we can deploy this using either change set or unlock packages. There are some additional considerations especially for restriction rule. This rule does not apply on child objects. Similar to scoping rule but both support only equal operation only that is we can have a single condition applied on a particular restriction rule and scoping rule and we cannot have and or or conditions applied on this formulas with additional condition restriction rules does not apply for code ex executed in system mode or when a particular user is having view all or modify all permission. And another consideration is that when we are applying restriction rule, the sales might not be returning all the expected records because there are some filtered out values. And scoping rules also, the similar kind of consideration exists. And additional criteria or condition is that scoping rule is person, person account fields are not supported in scoping rules. Now, let us see an example for restriction rule. For this, let us consider a scenario where company ABC is having job applications getting created through their company portal and single with sales source through some integration mechanism. And in company ABC, we have got a recruitment team who will be taking care of this job applications to process them. We have got a specific visibility requirement. 
that is we have got a specific recruitment person assigned to each of the region and he should have visibility to job applications only in that particular region for this we have already kept the job application organization by default as private and and another additional consideration is that all the recruitment team members will be having a specific role called recruitment team now the solutioning part utilizing restriction rule since the OWD is private we need to share records job applications with the record recruitment team with additional sharing rule so the traditional solution option is that we might be creating separate public group corresponding to each of the region and then we will be sharing using criteria based sharing but now let us see how we can use restriction rule to actually obtain this particular scenario for that what we are going to do is first create a sharing rule to share all job applications with recruitment team role let us go and see this you can see that OWD for job application is private and I have created a sharing rule which is going to share all job applications with role recruitment team and the access level is read write so now what is happening all the recruitment team members are going to have access to all job application record but that is not our requirement right we should have it based on the region only for that purpose i have got a recruitment manager assigned with recruitment team role and each of the user record is having a geography assigned to them for example this particular user is having a geography APAC so he should see only job applications in the APAC region let me open the job applications record available in the org so here I have logged in as that particular user and I have created an all applications view and if we go to all applications now you can see that this particular recruitment manager can see records in both APAC and EMEA now let us go back and see how we will be able to create a scoping a restriction rule to control the access so how to create a restriction rule for that you can open the job application object and under the job application object you can see restriction rule so I have already created the geography sharing restriction rule and the details you can see here currently it is not active but as of now I have created a user criteria so any restriction rule or scoping rule will be having two part one is user criteria that is we are going to define this particular restriction rule is going to apply it on which all users similarly we have got a record criteria which is going to tell us which are the records getting shared with this particular user group so I have kept it simple uh, based on a particular criteria but you can keep it generic also so the user criteria I have selected here is that let me edit this so that it is more clear so the user criteria is that use if the user geography equals a pack I need to have only records job applications with geography equals to a pack shared with them so that is the restriction rule we have created now let me make this as active and save this now let us go to the same view we are having and for this purpose let me open okay so if I go to job applications I can see that I have got visibility only to the APAC record and EMEA record is not visible now let me go to the recently viewed record so yeah everywhere you can see we have got only the uh, APAC record and you completely lost access to the previous record which is the EMEA one this is how the restriction rule is working now let me go back and deactivate 
this particular restriction rule because I would like to show you the same scenario and the different using a scoping rule. Let me edit and uncheck this and save. So we have deactivated the restriction rule now. Now let us go and see the same thing if we are implementing using a scoping rule. What is the difference? So since we have deactivated the restriction rule, I should get visibility to all the records now. Yeah, you can see the recruitment person has received access to both EMEA and APAC record back. Now, let me go back to the system and you can see below restriction rules, you can see scoping rules also. So if you go to scoping rules, I have created one already, but this one I have kept it generic so that it will be applicable for all users for all region. It's deactivated at this moment. We can activate it now. Let me edit and you can see the criteria. This criteria actually check for user role ID equals this specific value. So this is for the specific role recruitment team that we are going to assign to all the recruitment team users. And the record criteria is that the job application geography equal to user geography. That is, a user is going to see the records only belongs to his particular geography. That is the criteria. So, we have kept this as generic and let me activate it and save this record. Now, if I go back to all applications, if you go to the filter criteria, what like I mentioned, this filter by owner criteria is having different options like all job applications, my job applications. And there is an additional one at this moment called filter by scope. So only if we select this value, the list view is going to filter based on the active scoping rule. So let me go ahead and refresh this view. And you can see the current view got updated based on the current or the recruitment users geography. And if we go back to the recently viewed records, you can still view the other record also. And if you open that, you have visibility to the EMEA record still. So what is the difference? The current users view or the specified view is getting updated based on the specific scoping rule and this is mainly applicable uh, suppose in our scenario right we have got a recruitment team earlier it was geography specific but in my case in the second scenario suppose if the recruitment team is global that is each of the uh, account team member sorry each of the recruitment team member needs to support all the region but at a particular time he should look into only records from a specific region. For example, today I want to just go through the records of APAC region. In that case, I want to filter out APAC records. At that moment, the scoping rules are going to be really helpful because it's not blocking your access to other records, but it's giving you a specific view. Now, we can make this more flexible. For that, I have added a button here called Select Geography. This is associated with a flow actually. So I will show you what it is doing. So when I click on select geography, this button is going to navigate to a screen flow where you will be able to select the region for which you want to see the records. So at this moment, it is defaulted to the user current region, which is a pack. And now we are going to select EMEA and click on next so it will show a message that this geography selection got updated and it is going to redirect you to the same list view and now you can see the current record is emia so what is happening within this particular flow this is going to update the current user's geography with the selected value so automatically then the scoping rule will be working 
and it's going to modify the current user's view based on the scoping rule. So this way you will be able to easily work on different set of records based on your requirement without creating multiple list views or having very complex sharing mechanisms. So I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you.